How's it going folks? Murphy's Law Gaming here. Hope everybody is doing fine tonight. Hey opponents, how's it going? <laughs> Carlos Perez, notice me senpai. Hey. Calm down now. <laughs> and Hazel Hoy. Hello everybody. Sorry about the late start, but um been somewhat of a busy day, but I'm glad that we are here and I am ready to get into some more Skyward Sword. I hope everybody is ready to uh, do the same. Greatly appreciate y'all uh, stopping by and hanging out tonight. Hello there, 7 Degrees. Hidey ho. And uh, we'll see what we can get into tonight. So, how about we get started? Night Academy. Fly to the Column of Light and descend through the clouds to land below. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> well, looky there. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Awkwardly stands there silently. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. So it sounds like we're going shopping. We'll see. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Yes, sir. The headmaster watches us change. Yeah, that is a little freaky. Nice clothes, Link. All right. <laughs> I have sudden concerns. Yes, now we know where the iconic green suit comes from. Seven degrees. Sit. Something in my bed, did the tooth fairy leave me something? Okay, yeah, no sleepy. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you tonight, Brian. All right, another uh, blue rupee. And he says that the uh, green suit comes from the great Deku tree and the Kokiri. Let's begin the journey. Hey. Well, Ponus, that's a good point. Link. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Alright, an adventure pouch. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. 
You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Yeah, and I just know that a shield is going to fit into my adventure pouch. But hey, we're using video game logic here, so it makes sense. Alright. Hey Link, you made it. Finally in the senior class, that outfit suits you. But now it's hardly the time to celebrate, right? I can't believe Zelda has gone missing. I can get a free shield. Well, that's good to know, Oponus. You and Zelda are so close. I know you must be worried sick. <laughs> I don't know. I just have this feeling she's alive and well somewhere. You've got to believe that and wait for her to come home. Well, yeah, I could just wait. No need to play this game. I'm sure she'll just show right up. Oh, okay. Headmaster's... He's still in my room waiting for me to come back and change. Hey, Clifford Longhead. How's it going? Hope you are having a fantastic weekend. And thank you for stopping by. some uh, math and stuff before I go if I want to. Thank you, chalkboard. Glad to hear that, Clifford. Always glad to hear you are doing well. Called for me, Master. I just noticed her. Uh... Hold on. Yes, Master. What information do you seek? All right. Well, let's just try it out. Uh, about hint. This is Skylock. The statue of the goddess looks down on the town, and most residents live in relative peace and harmony. Among the residents here are those who have useful information for you, Master, as well as those who have troubles they want to talk about. I recommend talking to those who have a speech bubble visible above their heads as soon as you see them. Well, thank you very much, Fee. Uh, Awesome Possum, unfortunately, yes, you did miss it. It was like right whenever we started the game. Headmaster was watching us change and everything. I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The Headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Well, looky there. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold the minus and point at it with the Wii remote. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. We got a wooden shield. Buddy, 
Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. A column of light has appeared to the south of our location and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with the sword would result in a deceased probability of survival, or decreased <laughs> probability of survival, which yet resulting in being deceased. <laughs> if you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Alright. Another subject to discuss, Master. Well, Awesome Possum, we know so far that the wooden shields are the weakest shields and that they are weak against fire. So, I mean, yeah, I guess there is a durability thing in the game with the shields anyway so far. Hey, Renee, how's it going? And hello there, Epic Potato Chip. Thank you so much for stopping by, Epic. Greatly appreciate it. Folks, if you're not aware, Epic Potato Chip is a fellow streamer who has an awesome channel. Does Super Mario Maker. Uh, does Spoopy Saturday. And uh, I think earlier, two streams on Saturday. Uh, late night is usually Spoopy Saturday. And before that, I think is uh, Super. No. Yeah. Mario Maker is before Spoopy Saturday. He also does Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and uh, other stuff. So please be sure to uh, check out his channel. And thank you very much, Hazel, for uh, posting the command. Folks, the link is there in the chat. Uh, very fun streamer. Uh, the people in the chat are also fun to talk to. Very friendly. So uh, please stop by and check out Epic Potato Chip. And thank you very much, Epic, for stopping by greatly appreciate it once you are accustomed to the controls you are free to modify the on-screen interface on the gear screen select interface to change the on-screen display to suit your preference this fee chick is so smart it's like she knows that there's somebody controlling the game pretty smart <laughs> No problem, Epic. I'd like to bet at the end of every Zelda game, every Link always feels sappy in the end because they always have to revert back to the standard sword in the end. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a little irritating. Whack in the bush. Link the bushwhacker. That's what he does. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> hey, Nom Nom Kirby, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Great to see you tonight. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Lonk the bush, Wookie. <laughs> All right, it's what we Skyloft Plaza. I like how in these uh, Zelda games too, you could just walk in whatever building you want to. It's like, hey, don't mind me, just gonna check your place out. Let's see, we got any ho hos in here? You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll leave. <laughs> hey, I wasn't done looking at it yet. It takes the book. All right, oh, there's somebody with a bubble. <laughs> hey, look up there, it's Beetle's Air Shop, it's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. 
There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But that bell is up off the ground. You'd have to launch something at it to have any hope of ringing it. Bazaar. Alright, so we found the bazaar. I heard you won the wing ceremony. Congratulations. That's incredible. Hey, you don't seem all that happy about winning. What's the matter? <laughs> uh, I gotta go save a stupid princess. Or is she a princess yet? I guess that's a good question. Bizarre. Only one thing to do when you're tired to get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere there's a bed, you know. Skyloft is a different place after the sun goes down. It's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until nightfall. There's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at night. Mm. <clears throat> okay, gotcha. I beg I didn't know if she was or not since this was like the... From what I understand, this is the first Zelda game. Next, a dash of pepper. Delicious, another culinary delight, ready to be savored and enjoyed. Alright. Hey, you're a link. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Happy you could make it tonight. Getting into some scoured sword. Look at this psycho. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what it'll be... I don't know that I have any gear to upgrade right now. Hey, hey. What the was it? Well then, why'd you even come and talk to me? Uh, my bad. Hey, doing pretty well, Yearling. Thank you very much for asking. Ready for some more Zelda action, as always. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put some stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch or in storage that you want to move? Oh, no, I don't think everybody wearing a mask is a psycho awesome possum. Maybe just most of the ones in uh, the Legend of Zelda series, maybe. <laughs> oh, really great. Not like my time is worth anything. Looks like she comes with a lot of baggage. See what I mean? Ha ha ha. Alright, I don't want to talk to her anymore. I just wanted to make my joke. <laughs> oh, really? Great. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've already read that part. Oh my gosh. Aha! Customer! Hello there, friend. My shop carries the finest products you'll find anywhere. Please, take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I have a milkshake that brings all the boys to the yard. Hopefully not. Oh yes, yes, allow me to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of any of my wares and press A to examine its beauty. Take your time and shop your heart's delight. So 
always free to look my friend and there's no pressure to buy no pressure at all <laughs> make her <laughs> all right what does this dude have Aha, uh -huh, very sorry, but I can't sell you those unless you have a bomb bag. Again, my apologies. I do apologize, but I can't sell you this unless you have a bow. It's store policy, you see. My friend, you don't appear to have a slingshot. I simply couldn't sell these, sell you these in good conscience if you do not have a slingshot. Perhaps I can interest you in some of my other wares. Yeah, like, do you have any? Hmm. Looks like he's got a back room. Do we even want to know what's back there? speechless because he's always got to save Hyrule. <clears throat> Aha, of course, someone as bright and savvy as yourself doesn't need to hear me ramble on straight on to business. Please, friend, feast your eyes on this landscape of fantastic gold treasure I have prepared for you today. Yeah, I like can't buy any of it. Okay, and I've already got one of those. Yep, remember that, uh... Does not do well with fire, so... That's quite alright, friend. I have quite a few other fine items in stock, so do take your time and look around. I think I'll be alright. don't think I have enough yeah and you're probably right well I could get the um, the shield if I wanted it but yeah. hey you there yes you the adorable boy with the golden hair welcome to the potion shop you can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your heart Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you, one like at you, and I can tell you need my potions by the cauldron fool, so don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle. I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Sweet, we got our first empty bottle, folks. Hey, Chaos Emerald, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it tonight. Hey, Chadley, how's it going? Folks, Chadley is another awesome streamer who uh, streams titles such as... He is actually also doing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. He does it on Thursday nights, and he is uh, actually much further along than I am. Uh, and his stream usually starts before mine, so if you're wanting to catch some Skyward Sword action uh, earlier in the day, uh, be sure to check Mr. Chadley out. And... Uh, Thank you, Hazel, for posting that command. Uh, the link to his channel there is in the uh, chat, folks. And uh, he also uh, does Mario Maker. He does some Mario Kart. He also does some uh, Classic Edition Super Nintendo. 
Uh, I think I've seen them play some Kirby off of it, some uh, Yoshi's Island. And uh, does the uh, I saw he does the occasional Smash Brothers stream too. I, I, I know I've uh, seen on there once uh, that he's done uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. So folks, uh, please make sure to uh, check uh, Chadley out. Uh, very fun channel. I always have fun when I'm there. And thank you very much, Chadley, for stopping by tonight. We just got our first empty bottle. We can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press minus to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. Mm. So what would you like to buy? Well, I mean, I guess I gotta buy something. You did give me a jar. Let's see. I want to know what kind it is before I get it. Maybe I need to put the bottle away. Alright, there we go. Slow down, dear. That potion is not quite ready for public consumption yet, but I promise I'll have it out soon. In the meantime, I've got plenty of other great potions for you to try out. Why not have a look? <laughs> yes, Chaos Emerald. Bottles are very useful, especially in Zelda games. Uh, Chadley, unfortunately, I'm not ready for the work week to uh, start back. Never ready for that. Yeah, it starts back tomorrow morning, though. And by the way, uh, congratulations, or congratulations. Uh, happy birthday to uh, your sons, Chadley. To uh, happy birthday to Chadley's little ducklings. <laughs> That's a vat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it will replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 rupees. How about it? I don't need window shoppers here, dear. <laughs> no window shoppers. Yeah, so I'm guessing green is magic. This wonderful potion completely stops your stamina gauge from being depleted for a little while. Well, I guess I was wrong on that. No problem, Chadley. However, I haven't quite perfected this formula, so you'll have to wait until it's ready. Feel free to take a look at my other potions, though. All right, so we know we can get the red. It's the heart potion. And we got some Pepto-Bismol right here. That's whenever Link uh, has a little too much to drink. This mysterious elixir is known as Revitalizing Potion. Simply pour it on a broken shield, and at moments, the shield will be as good as new. It's amazing. Man, that would be sweet if that stuff was real. Not only that, but this multi-purpose mixture will even restore four hearts. How about some to take on your travels? It's only 30 rupees. That is pretty cool, but I don't think I'm getting that right yet. That is Guardian Potion. This stuff makes you feel invincible. It's a potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit of time. If you find yourself facing an opponent who's a little out of your league, this is the potion for you. Ooh, yeah. This kind of potion doesn't come cheap, though. It's 200 rupees. How about it? All right, folks. I think uh, heart potion it is. You don't want it, dear? I know some of my potions might taste a bit strange, but there's no denying that they do what's advertised. All right. Heart potion. It's like you got to start off with the heart potion. All right. You're, uh, I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Uh, hope you have a great night, and uh, thank you very much, and I hope to see you again soon. Uh, tomorrow, uh, folks, if you're not aware, is Mario Monday, and we are currently playing through Paper Mario, and so uh, if any of you all want to join us for that tomorrow night, uh, that's what we'll be playing.
Alright. 20 rupees. Yes, please. Got us some heart potion. Alright, you're a link. Good night. And I hope you sleep well and get a great start off to your week. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. So we can power up potions as well. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Looks like Lyle love it. <laughs> He's got a baby on his back. Ah, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Well, uh, do you have any potions you would like me to infuse? These are the potions you are currently carrying that I can infuse. Completely restores all hearts. 20 rupees. Oh, and you got to have those items in order to do it, I'm guessing. Oh, but you don't have enough materials to enhance this potion. Wow, this game is getting interesting. It almost, yeah, I can, it's given me, uh, reminded me of Breath of the Wild and Way with the, some of the stuff that you got to, um, collect. But it sounds fun, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Nom Nom Kirby, no, unfortunately, uh, right now I do not have Fortnite Fridays. Uh, we're actually doing... On Fridays, we're doing Friday Night Frights, and we are playing through uh, uh, The Last of Us Remastered. So, who knows, maybe down the road uh, we may have... I don't know that we'll ever do a Fortnite Friday. I'm not saying we'll never see a Fortnite stream on here, but uh, it kind of depends on what uh, if everybody would be interested in that or not. I am not a, I like Fortnite, I don't play it nearly as much as a lot of people do though, so. But, you know, if anybody would want to sit here and watch me get shot up, you know, hey, I'm open to it, so. Ooh, you hate horror games. I'm sorry about that. Oh, so you're not interested? Well, I hope to see you again. Well, thank you very much. Okay, this is the item check person. Whoa. What's this? What is it that my eyes behold? I don't know. I'm wondering the same thing about myself. Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead for you. <laughs> but I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. <laughs> Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. So mesmerizing. <laughs> i tell you a pretty uh, messed up horror game that I've played uh, off stream and that's that Resident Evil Biohazard. That game is freaking insane. That is a horror game for sure. Gaze into my eyes, stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh yes, these lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose on your sleeve stitching. Well, I'm hoping I see a shave in your future. 
Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally I seek 10 rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge but one rupee. So do you want me to tell your fortune? Do you dare discover what fate these eyes see? <laughs> Only one rupee. Hey, let's go for it. Yes, I knew it. Aha, what a treat. You are the first customer I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune, it's all coming into focus now. Aha, I see many things, all is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? Somewhere blanketed in green, yes? Ah, my eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere, yes, many trees. It would serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I can see that you're a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt you to take a heart potion with you. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Hey, enjoy that one rupee. There's more where that came from. spot right here. Oh wow. Oh, just what I had to hear. Uh, another tragedy in my own home city. Oh, sorry to hear that awesome possum. <laughs> Why buy one if you get one free? <laughs> Master Link. This treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times, left by the goddess for her chosen hero. Wow, and she left it in a bazaar. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. I was trying to see if I could just, you know, smack it open, but no luck. Is that oh, so, yeah, let's chill out here by the fire. All right, I'm done. We'll have to come back to that later, I imagine. Nom nom Kirby says I will learn to open them in the future. Well, that's great. I certainly hope so. See if we've talked to everybody. So you're on your way to becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations. But I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press 2 if you need a pointer or two. Oh, well, thanks. Alright, let me just see if there's by chance anything this dude can do. Oh, yeah. If he can upgrade anything that I have. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. Let's look at upgrade gear. You got it. These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Amber Relic, Monster Claw, okay, same deal as with the uh, potion dude, need items to update it. The opponent says Skyward Sword Link is adorable. 
Hold on now, you changed your mind, Will. And all the... And it's fine, come see me whenever. You change it back, little buddy. Okay, so I think we've checked everything out. Got us an empty bottle with some heart potion in it. And off we go. I'm already digging the music in this game too. Zelda games always have such awesome music. I'm trying to remember how to roll. <laughs> we learned how and now I forgot. Nope, not that. Anyways. Pika the Musician, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing well tonight. I need to hear a joke. Maybe that will do the trick. Ooh, jokes. Jokes are always fun. Shake the uh, nunchuck. Oh, cancel. Yeah, I'm still not getting it right. tried anyway. Link the thief. <laughs> Do you think prison guards use proactive to prevent breakouts? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Hazel. Oh, shake the nunchuck while dashing to do a forward roll. Just like Num Num Kirby said. get this bug and then we'll check a couple things out and then we will uh, head to the uh, beam of light it's the bug is still even there Oh, 
Alright. Now can we still use our cell cloth? The sky. We have found the sky. I just want to see if I can get to that chest. <laughs> Squawk! what I meant to do. Oh well. <laughs> hey Nathan Blind, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's Denon, Denpai. Hey Denon, how's it going? Pull on a fast one on me, changing your name like that? How could you? Looks like we were finally able to see what's going on on this side. Um, Pika, I have never played that. ceremony and graduated to the senior class. I can tell by the handsome knight's uniform you're wearing it looks very dashing on you. One step closer to knighthood, eh? my pippet doing at school? Hmm, I don't know. You're the parent, that's your job. <laughs> Please keep up with my child's grades for me. in an undercover Denon. Watch out for Denon. He's undercover. Some crazy person coming after me for smashing the pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins. Awesome band. Anybody else in the chat a fan of the smashing pumpkins? Oh wow, 
I just got a stool to chill out at. Check the scenery out. Well, that was peaceful. Graveyard. <laughs> and just move all the headstones. <laughs> Grave robber. Yeah, I didn't have anything to do today, so we just went to the cemetery and pushed some headstones around. Got a rupee for it. You know, just normal day. Of course, I was dying to get in there. <laughs> It'd be funny I got put in the timeout corner for smashing pots. Yeah, opponents that would suck. Alright. Got three rupees out of the deal for uh, moving headstones. Some possum feeling depressed. Can somebody say a joke or something? I actually cannot think of a joke, which is actually kind of surprising. does is make one filthy mess after another. I swear he leaves a grease spot wherever he sits. I know he li I know he likes tinkering around with his oily doodads, but I'm drowning in dirty laundry here. That lug? That's right, my greasy fingered son who runs the scrap shop in the bazaar. He's up at unspeakable hours trying to repair that rusty pile of an old robot he inherited. What he intends to do with that scrap heap reject is beyond me. Well, sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty rough at the Knights Academy. Alright, just real quick. I remember it said something about talking to this dude to uh, get him to teach us how to use our shield. I could probably figure it out on my own, but... There we go. You caught a one sky stag beetle. These bugs are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pinchers pack a lot of crunch, so watch your fingers. Academy, here we come. Or not Knights Academy, but uh, the sparring place. We'll do that real quick and then we will uh, head over to our uh, beam of light that is waiting for us. <clears throat> if I lose my law loot, I scream. Let's hope you don't lose it then. Link, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl, I'm worried about her. 
Now, I don't know all the details of what's going on here, but that sword you're carrying isn't from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact that can only be carried by the Chosen One. And since you happen to be the one carrying it, I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. You know, Link, I just wish there were more I could do for you. But I can offer this as a sparring gift. Get ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. First, we should start with the basics. Give your nunchuck a shake to take your shield out. Simple stuff, I know, but you need to review the basics. To lower your shield, swing your sword with the Wii Remote or press A to put your sword and shield away entirely. Just be careful when trying to attack while on the defensive. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, lowering your guard. Why don't you try that first? Talk more about the secrets of defense. Basics. Give your nunchuck a shake to take your shield out. In a real battle, pulling off a defensive shield maneuver requires perfect timing. Believe me, you really don't want to miss. <laughs> Why don't you put what you learned to use with that defense practice log? That log is used to practice defense. Hit the log with your sword, then sharply move the nunchuck forward to execute a shield bash when it swings back at you. Just like that, not. <laughs> Linda! How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Practical stuff. Practical stuff? Okay. If you're ready your shield right before an enemy attacks you, the force from your shield arm will repel the enemy's attack. This technique is called a shield bash, and it will make the enemy recoil, giving you an opening in which to attack. This technique is very useful against enemies who throw weapons at you or just refuse to give you an opening for attack. In a real battle, pulling off a defensive shield maneuver requires perfect timing. Believe me, you really don't want to miss. Why don't you put what you learned on the... Okay, is that not what I just practiced? Hmm. 
Alright. I see. Well, trying it out for yourself is the best way to learn. Why don't you practice on that defense log? Okay, yeah, I've already done that. Alright, I am going to go get me a drink. Uh, folks, I will be right back. But, uh, like I did last night before I go uh, get my drink, uh, I just want to direct people to a fellow streamer named uh, Claire Lockhart. Uh, her uh, channel got banned for some goofy reasons, and uh, she unfortunately will not be able to come back until October. And, uh, you know, whenever you're away from uh, you don't stream, like, yeah, you know, I know whenever I was gone for uh, the one time for the week, you know, I think I lost four or five subscribers, and that was just for a week. And uh, we're about at the same amount of subscribers. And so, uh, I'd like to, uh, put up the command for her channel. And, uh, if you folks would like to, uh, go and check that channel out, uh, she's got some, uh, some of the stuff that she was streaming was, uh, there was a Final Fantasy title. She was also doing Luigi's Mansion. Uh, she does Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and, uh, Super Mario 3D World. And she's also got, um, uh, some streams on there of... Banjo-Kazooie, uh, a Kingdom Hearts game, and The Legend of Zelda, um, Wind Waker. Lots of material there to go and watch. And so, uh, thank you very much, Hazel. The command is there, uh, and the link to her channel is there in the chat. Uh, you know, let's go show our support for fellow streamers, you know, especially whenever they're kind of down on their luck, you know, whenever something unfortunate like this happens. Um... You know, go check out and see what she's got. And uh, if you like what she's got, why don't you subscribe to her? And uh, just, you know, check out her videos. And, you know, let's keep her going. And, hey, James Clark, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. And, folks, James Clark has hit over a 1,000 subs. So let's give uh, James Clark a uh, big thumbs up. And, uh, you know, congratulate him on his reaching a 1,000 subscribers. And yes, uh, let's support Claire, you know, during this, you know, crappy time. And, uh, you know, we got to stick together and help each other out. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink and then I will be right back and we will get back into this game. Thank you all very much. Alrighty, folks, and I am back. Thank you all very much for your patience. Yeah, Lindsay, I've uh, I've heard some um, some unfortunate stories, you know, while I've been a streamer, and you know, there's some of them are just really goofy and insane. Uh, what I saw of uh, of Claire's, I, I just was like, you got to be kidding me, you know. But um, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a, to me, it just looked to be a goofy reason to, uh, you know, suspend someone's channel. And uh, another uh, streamer that used to be on YouTube that uh, something similar happened to was a streamer. Uh, maybe y'all have heard of him. Uh, his name was, uh, his name is Seabro. Uh, he seemed like he, he had like, uh, a couple goofy instances where, uh, something similar happened to him and he, uh, he, uh, he is a very fun guy to watch. Um, I don't get to watch him nearly, uh, as much as I used to, but he is now on, um, Twitch. Uh, I know he is also a uh, family-friendly streamer, um, but he does uh, he does all sorts of stuff. He does uh, he does some Overwatch, does some Mario Kart 8. Um, so if you are ever on uh, you know if you're ever on Twitch, hey, uh, look him up. I think you'll uh, really enjoy his channel. Very very friendly guy. But, uh, yeah, uh, and he does still have his channel on YouTube, but he, uh, he, now he live streams on Twitch, so. Uh, Lente was about to mention Seabro. Uh, James Clark, I am, uh, really enjoying, uh, Skyward Sword so far. I've kind of just been goofing off here, just trying to explore, uh, you know, see what we got going on here. Uh, before I, uh... You know, make the big leap into that uh, ray of light over there. You know, see what's going on. Oh, wow. I bet you know what we got to do there. Throw. No Zelda game is complete without the ability to hurl jars. Ooh, a rupee. And there goes a blue one. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. It's so crazy playing this with a, a Wii remote. Yeah, the, the motion controls, uh, I, you know, I'm, I am enjoying it, but if, uh, I mean, it, ultimately, if you're, you know, I do prefer using an actual controller. And, it, you know, really, and it is kind of goofy, but I think uh, that is part of what deterred me, you know, from playing you know, the Wii, uh, games was just the, uh, and it's not really that bad, you know, but it's the motion controls, you know, having to, you know, whack your sword around with your, you know, actually having to move your hand around in order to use your sword. I was just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and it, you know, like I said, it's not terrible, but, um, I don't know, and you know, whenever the Wii came out, the Wii was a very fun system. Whenever I played it, I was just, I was really excited to play it, and uh, I played it at a friend's house, and um, was hooked on it, and then I had the Wii for about a year, and it's like, after that, I was like, kind of done with it. I was like, okay, you know, this was, this was fun, but I just, it just didn't interest me anymore. And so, uh... That's kind of how things went with me and the uh, the Wii, so. And it's not that it was a terrible system or anything like that. It's. It was just. I guess it just didn't last long with me. Master Link, observe the green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Alright. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. To the base we go. Whoa. I've got to get used to this flying though. This is. Yeah. 
Something that just dropped me down there. <laughs> Skydiving Link. This looks awesome, though. I will say that. All right, Opponus. Have to go to bed soon. Wow. Master, please make sure to use your cell cloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. This is the Mr. Obvious show. <laughs> I took the liberty of deploying the cell cloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing B before landing. Well, excuse me. But thank you. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Don't look very sealed to me. Skyloft. And sealed grounds. And there I am right there. That's me. Please proceed with caution, Master. You called for me, Master. You are located in the seal grounds. I detect the auras of a small number of relatively weak enemies. Master, your current selection of pouch items is survival focused. Suitability to current location is 50%. Well, pouch items that focus on heart replenishment are unnecessary in this area. I recommend removing non-combat pouch items. Hmm. Okay. Steffi Buck, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. Getting used to it a little bit. Durability of that shield is going away pretty quick. Awesome, Steffi Buck. I'm happy you was able to catch me as well.
<laughs> the ominous theme there. That is one wild looking whatever it is. It's like a giant hairball with uh, monster teeth. See a very familiar symbol there. The integrity of your shield has weakened. Be wary of the remaining durability of this item. I'll keep that in mind. Check this door real quick. And by the way, folks, if you're unsure, Nathan Blind is actually undercover Denpai. Don't let him fool you. He's doing some secret agent work. Because he got banned from somebody's discord so yeah just talk to him like you would talk to Denpai because that's who he is master I have information to report while these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Well, that was very brief. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lenta! I just blew his cover. Hey, sorry there, Denpai, but I don't think he's doing I don't think he's doing any undercover work on this channel. I'm hoping he's just hanging out. No offense to you, Denpai. You're always welcome here. Unless you're doing undercover work on me, and then you're not welcome here. I mean that in a nice way. Alright, so... Um, I guess, as crazy as it sounds, let's go down. <laughs> you regret changing your name. <laughs> Steffi, laugh out loud then rip. The cat is out of the bag. Yes, it does seem sus uh, suspicious, Steffi. See some vines that we can climb. I'm just getting like Zelda adventuring goosebumps. Not really, but when you quit running with your sword out, you look like a moron. So, we have, I think it looks like 12 people watching. I'm just going to throw a random question out there. Who is ready for the uh, release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 
any people excited about that? Yeah, all this time I forgot. Yeah, I can sprint. Uh, maybe that's why there's so many stamina fruit around. Hazel is, Pika is, Steffi Buck is, and James Clark. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> Yes, I am very much looking forward to it. Young one. Child of destiny. Descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Well, you're the boss for right now. Prepare for a boss fight. What? Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell cloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you, please? As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. I'm kind of getting it. Alright opponents, thank you very much for hanging out with us tonight. Hope you have a good night's sleep and uh, get a, a great start to your week. Have a good night.
Let's try something else. Go up some more and see what happens. Oh, gotcha, Chadley. Thanks. All right. Good night, Awesome Possum. Hope, uh, hope your night gets better, and I hope. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're getting a little freaked out, but um, hopefully some sleep will uh, help you feel better. Good night, and thank you very much for stopping by. James Clark, thank you as well for uh, stopping by and hanging out with us. And uh, folks, again, please don't forget to check out uh, James Clark's channel. Uh, fun streamer. And uh, also, don't forget to congratulate him on hitting a thousand subs. Take, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to do it, and uh, it is uh, <laughs> out of stamina. But, uh, Make sure to congratulate him, and uh, James, you have yourself a great night. Stronger now. Howdy there, troll. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. I had a feeling that's where we were going. Interesting sealed temple. Whoa. Ah. The traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Nice braid you got going on there. Link? Ah, Link, good, very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. You would be correct. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword.
I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your God. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled there, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so, I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. Reminds me of another game. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. <laughs> She's trying to hypnotize Link with her braids. <laughs> Good one, Linda! Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go now, you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the, con take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful on your journey. You're getting very sleepy. <clears throat> you are ready, leave through the door before you and head into the woods, I wish you safe travel. By the way, Lindsay, I got a hold of that encyclopedia today at Walmart, and I was like super excited whenever I saw it. And yeah, I picked it up. The Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia, and I am super looking forward to looking through that thing. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. All right, if you insist. Oh, wow. You got some revitalizing potion. This potion fully repen replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Awesome. Does that mean that I got another jar, too? Everything that you've seen there has been interesting so far. Well, that's sweet. There is the beacon. Okay. All right. 
it. Oh, more of these guys. Out of the way, scram. Those things look wild. Hearts, sneeze hearts. Or I thought I did, maybe I don't. Phew, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. <laughs> Nom Nom Kirby. Hey, Bo Coblins. Hey bud, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds quite... The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah. Ah, oh, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. <laughs> All right, let's have our mind blown. So get this, people actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. Well, I mean, you're a Goron, so... No offense. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, an endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic f wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh the weather bud, not too hot, not too cold, no chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. <laughs> you want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. Whoa. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Behind the temple. Folks, I believe we are going to save and quit, and I am so happy that this showed up. Folks, I greatly appreciate you. Hey, Tone's cool. How's it going? 
Welcome to the stream and welcome to Murphy's Law Gaming. I am very sorry that you showed up at the completion of our stream. But if anything, uh, folks, I do want to try to see if there's someone we can raid real quick. <clears throat> Hopefully there is. Surely there's got to be somebody. The person that I was hoping to raid is no longer on. So, let's see. Maybe we'll just find somebody new. There's nothing wrong with that. Alright. Let's see. I see one... person that is playing something that looks very interesting that I'm into. And so this is a new person, folks. I have never been to their channel. They are playing Resident Evil 4, which is a very crazy game. Why can't I just leave her? We'll come get you later. And so I am going to post oh my hey, Jesse, hello. their uh, link in the chat. And, uh, folks, again, I greatly appreciate y'all uh, stopping by tonight. Hey, Emmanuel, how's it going? I'm sorry, man, but we are uh, finishing up. Uh, please do a hashtag Murphy's Law Raid. And uh, I hope to see everybody tomorrow night for... Uh, Uh, Mario Monday, we're doing Paper Mario. And uh, please go to this channel and let's raid uh, this person's channel. Uh, Paper Mario tomorrow night. And uh, folks, thank you for hanging out tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. This is Murphy's Law Gaming signing out. Take care, folks.